Um, take the England's Wimbledon football teams. Manchester United Football Club, for example, just like you can see the picture. And it, it is one of England's most oldest football teams and earns more than two, 200 million euros per year. And how about in Asia? Close your book and listen to the CD carefully. And now I have two questions to ask you. So please listen carefully. Asia, a growing passion. Over the past two decades, an intense soccer competition among Japan, China, and South Korea has helped to increase enthusiasm for the sport across Asia. In China, for example, recent data suggests that soccer is now more popular than traditional Chinese favorites, such as table tennis and basketball. This enthusiasm has also helped to bridge differences and bring people together. The 2002 World Cup, co-hosted by South Korea and Japan, was a victory for cooperation and friendship. And in the Middle East, youth soccer teams have also helped to promote peace. Okay, so who could host the 2002 World Cup? South Korea and Japan. Yes, you're correct. It's South Korea and Japan. And the second question is, what sport of traditional Chinese favorite? Yes, you got it. Who can read this sentence? Close. No one here. Yu Xiang. bring their enthusiasm for football to their new country. Just like we know that the immigrants, most of the immigrants are from Britain, so they bring their favorite sport football to their new country. And you can see in your textbook, page 11, line 47, there was two vocabulary, cricket and rugby. Cricket means financial and rugby means instrumental. You can write it down. Uh, you can see the picture there. Just like football, then the cricket and rugby was all originated from Britain. And the um, cricket is a little bit like baseball. It just like you can see the picture. And rugby is a little bit like American football. So, are you ready? <laughs> okay. Uh, me again. <laughs> now, <clears throat> next week we go to Africa. <laughs> uh, line 58 to 63. And here we are going to do listen and fill the blanks. You can take a quick look at the paragraph and we will start the listening. Just about now. Africa. Soccer's new frontier. Africa has a number of talented players. However, the continent lacks strong domestic teams and faces the prospect of losing many of its best players to the European clubs. Several national teams have powerful athletes though, and Africa's more prominent role in the soccer world was established in 2004 when FIFA awarded the 2010 World Cup tournament to South Africa. Do you need to listen to it again? One more time, okay. Africa, soccer's new frontier. Africa has a number of talented players. However, the continent lacks strong domestic teams and faces the prospect of losing many of its best players to the European clubs. 
Several national teams have powerful athletes, though, and Africa's more prominent role in the soccer world was established in 2004 when FIFA awarded the 2010 World Cup tournament to South Africa. Now you get the answers. Okay, uh, we'll do it. Uh, does anyone know the first one? Okay. Continent. Continent, yes, continent. And the second one? Pardon? Uh, it's closed. Yes, domestic. And faces the prospect. Prospect, yeah. And Africa's more what role? More prominent role. And the last one, World Cup tournament. Yes. Here's the answer. And continent uh, is like a very very large, very very large uh, land. And does anyone know the translation in Chinese? Yes, Dalu. And the second one, uh, you can write it, the translation down in your textbook. You can see the line number uh, behind the word. And the second one, domestic, does anyone know? Huh? Yes, Guonei uh, uh, opposite to foreign. And the third one, prospect. Huh? Uh, yes, but uh, here it means like possibility, possibility in Chinese, 可能性. And the fourth one, prominent. Is it? Uh, uh, yes, close. In Chinese here we translate into 重要的. Prominent role, like 重要的, 显著的. And the last one, tournament. Yes, 锦标赛. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Translation time. Does anyone volunteer to help me with this? Then. I'll pick one. Uh, Chen Hui. <laughs> you can read it first and then translate. Several national teams had powerful athletes now, and Africa's more prominent role in the soccer world was established in 2004 when FIFA awarded the 2010 World Cup tournament to South Africa. It's a little tough. 一些少数的国家队有非常厉害的运动员，呃，但是那个非洲呃越来越重要，在那个足球界越来越重要的角色是在二零零四年的时候建立。当FIFA把二零一零年那个世界锦标赛的那个主办权交给南非的时候，Y
unbeatable talent. South America produces some of the most